Alright Lions, so today we are here to talk about the newest character in the game, Nozomi. Now, originally I had like a 20 minute, 15 minute video talking about this character, doing my usual review on Nozomi, and you know what? I thought that was kind of boring. It's not the way to go when talking about this particular character. Now, if you do want to know my opinion about Nozomi, she is an average character at best, and she is someone that you're not really ever going to use in most content, but she does have one very, very unique thing about her. She's the second character in the game right now to have this, where she comes with two unique skills, that being the Technique, Link Slot Potion, plus 5 skill. A lot of characters do have this in every attribute. It's nothing too special. But she also does come with Technique, Droplet Drop Rate, plus 30%. So she's now the second character in the game, the first one being White Day Toshra, who's also the same type of value for this particular character, where instead of just increasing Link Slot Potions, they're doing both. Droplets and also Link Slot Potions. And why is this important? Well, this right here makes a one of the most valuable characters in the game and is someone that you definitely want to have in the future and the great thing is she's a premium character she will be pullable very frequently possibly sometime in the future let's say around six months time where you will eventually pull her you'll get a potential from tickets and you're gonna eventually get dupes of her which is great because she's now the second links or character in the game that is premium based since fierce battle kisuke basically what almost two or so years ago so this character right here is an average character but she has significantly more value than any other power character in the game for farming epic raids where you many want to use her now for any other game mode you definitely can make a use out of this particular character but i don't really recommend using her in inheritance trial she does have the team party here when she does have the revive mechanic and stuff like that but only with a 60 percent berserker and no status elements she's more so playing the support role and not even like that great of a support role so in it don't really recommend it in iz you definitely can use her but iz is outdated now you shouldn't be even farming it to begin with and then arena you definitely can use her there but she she doesn't really have anything going for her, and she's going to be a very easy target for other characters designed more so for Arena. So, realistically, the only two places that you could use her is in Guild Quest, where she does make for a decent lead. This is the example team that I would recommend. But again, the best way to look at Nozomi, if you want to see the best value out of this character, is for Epic Raid farming. Now, in case you don't know, in Epic Raids, why is it good? Well, Epic Raid is, depending on the team composition and depending on the current Epic Raid, you can actually play it quite quickly with a good team of good players that have worked on their characters. You're potentially looking at around 30 to like a minute clear time which is really good because the drop rate in the awakened epic raid you get droplets and also links at the same time and you get a good amount of that if you look at this one run that i did do with renji we were able to get in two minutes and ten seconds keep in mind i was the only person in this particular raid so only one character here we were able to get 17 links or potions and 19 droplets now that's basically the average on the awakened epic raid if you're doing a number one it's like 10 less pots and droplets so do keep that in mind but for the awakened one that's what you can come to expect when clearing an epic raid. Now, Nozomi, a character that can increase both droplets and also link slots, this makes her, again, very, very good here. So imagine these were technique link slots, right? Imagine they were technique and we were using six Nozomis. Well, those 17 link slot potions now just became 47 link slots because you were guaranteed 30 additional pots with six Nozomis. And then those 19 droplets, well, guess what? Now they are 49. A massive increase. And again, if you're clearing very quickly, let's say a minute's time, for example, you're getting a lot of pots and link shot at the same time for one soul ticket in the course of a minute, which is significantly better than anything Droplet Zone and also IZ can even offer. And then keep in mind, because you can do five times soul tickets, six times if you do own the Cons Bonanza Pass, those 47 link slots now just became 282 link slots. Those 49 droplets now just became 294 droplets. So this right here is why Nozomi and also why Daytoshiro, because we haven't talked about him yet on the channel, it's the reason why these two characters are really good just for epic raid farming and that's why you potentially sometime in the future are going to want to get your hands on both toshiro nozomi and any future character that does come out that has link slots and the droplet skill it's a very rare combination of skills again only two characters in the game have it right now but it's really really valuable for farming epic raids the current best place to get droplets and also link slot potions so that right there is basically why you want nozomi on your account for farming epic raids you're going to do quick runs get this character to t20 level 10 
10 SP, give our full stamina, weaken defense, and you're overall going to be clearing a lot safer. And the great thing about this particular character too is that she does have some good skills to go alongside epic raids. For example, she does have a 60% Berserker, she does have a 50% care effect in multiplayer quests, which does include epic raids. Now, this is a rarity. Whenever she has killer, she's going to be doing more damage, but as of right now, she currently does not have any killer effects. So for now, it's kind of relevant, but in the future, whenever there's an epic raid boss that is no affiliation based, she will be doing a tad bit more damage. And then the automatic revive soul bomb is going to be really good for any epic raids where, you know, you just have a bunch of teammates dying, they're going to revive it back up to like basically half stamina. So I really do like that. It's kind of again similar to Toshiro. Toshiro doesn't have the revive mechanic, instead he has the debuff effect, which I would have preferred in my opinion over the revive mechanic, but it's not really that big of a deal, especially if you do decide to work on this character. So yeah, with that said, that's basically the video for today, just talking about the value for Nozomi. I feel like this is definitely the best way to do it instead of making like a 15 minute review on Nozomi, because in that video when I rewatched it, it was more so just me saying Nozomi's great in Epic Raid, the quest she was basically designed for the new type of links or character the new epic raid farmers essentially and everywhere else she's basically just an average character nothing too special she can be used but again there's just so many better characters out there i didn't even have that much fun playing with her in normal content but when it came to epic raids she's really really solid so again in case you didn't even know these characters existed for farming epic raids these are the new epic raid farmers caleb specifically made them and obviously they made them after they changed the way epic raid works with the link slot skill they made them for the sole purpose of farming epic raids. So why Toshiro and potentially Nozomi sometime in the future on my tier list is going to be an A tier, which basically means they're kind of just average for the most part. Do understand they are some of the most valuable characters in the game if you want to farm Link Slot Potions and Droplets in a very short amount of time and with the less amount of tickets possible. You know, guaranteed almost 50 Link Slots and Droplets in one run for the course of maybe one minute with a good team. That's really, really good. And that's why you want Nozomi. So what I said, lads, that was the video for today. Just talking about this particular character. Again, in the comments below, let me know what you think about Nozomi. Overall, I feel like she's a fairly average character that doesn't really have anything going for her outside of Epic Raids. But within Epic Raids, she's by far one of the most valuable, if not the most valuable power character to actually have. And the fact that she's a premium character, I think is a really, really cool thing because we'll all get her sometime in the future. With that said, hope you lads enjoyed the video. I'll see you lads next time. Peace.